everyone, I'd like to introduce you to the very talented Beth Bynum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Good. All right. So, Beth, uh, along, well, you brought, well, first of all, let's just start here. You have your artwork downstairs from now until the end of January. Yes, right out here in the lobby. All right, so if you would like to see more of her work, it is out in the lobby. So for right now, um, I would like to start with, I guess, what you brought. So first, let's start with this piece here. All right. Uh, this is an example of a cholograph, and uh, my daughter-in-law told me that I needed to explain a cholograph that people just don't know what that means. And so this is actually uh, an example of a cholograph a relief print, and a collage. It's all in there, and that's what I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you get closer to the piece, it seems like there are several different elements going on here. Can you kind of explain the process that you go through sure. to create these? Sure, this is, this is why I brought this uh, lovely green bag. Ah, okay. okay, that's what the bag's for. Okay, that's and what no, the bag's for. And, and uh, no, this is not a, mu a magician bag. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just kind of, a funky bag. Okay. Okay. Like so um, let me start. Let me start with this. Okay. Here, um, this is called a cholograph plate, and basically it is a piece of cardboard with uh, pieces that I cut out and glued on. And so uh, I use this. Mm -hmm. I use it. Put ink on it, and then I print it on a piece of paper. And you'll see this design out in my work. Um, and uh, so let me show you. Is this lovely on TV? Yeah. OK, so here's uh, one that was printed, not finished. But you'll see the same designs. I used, uh, this was done on a printing press. Most of the time, I, I just do it at home in my studio. Um, ink it up, ink this up with uh, acrylic paint, mm -hmm. put it on the paper, and that becomes a cholograph print. So this is so takes this, several steps. It, it takes a number of steps. Yeah. So, and if I want to do it uh, more than one uh, time or color, then I uh, ink it up again, or paint it, or put a brayer with ink on it. And so this second one's not even finished, but that's beautiful. No, and okay. so I brought another one Oh, so, so organized. Okay, so here's a little dinky cholograph plate. Not dinky, well, just small. Small, small. okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh well, you know, such verbiage. Okay, <laughs> and here is a cholograph print. So you can see the, that I printed on here. And I actually did it more than once. Okay, so, so this is the background. That's the background. And so you put all these together. Mm -hmm. All these elements create yes. the cholograph. The cholograph print. Uh, but it also has more to it. And hold There's on more here. People. There's more. Oh my oh. gosh, what do you, oh, you, I you ever leave the house? Oh well, you know, I'm a visual <laughs> artist. So this is a little uh, relief print plate that I created. Um, for you ladies and gentlemen that know what foamy is, it's a kid's a little thin foam piece. And I cut it out and I glued it on here. And you'll see this in a number of my pictures. And then I ink this up and I print in different areas. Wow. So this, I use this over and over. I, I love this little, uh, little poppy looking yeah, it's uh, beautiful. that I created. And maybe you'll see some leaves in the picture. So I put paint on this and print on top. OK. And maybe you'll see this little foamy thing that I made. And I use that, and I ink that and put it on. So different, uh, different shapes, different things right. inspire you. Yes, yes. And they look like they're all inspired kind of from nature. They're, you're, you've I got love a, nature. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I was a teacher for over 30 years, and I taught science, and I love nature. Period. So how did you stumble upon the cholograph? Uh, the cholograph, I had been doing artwork, and I wanted to enter a printmaking show. Mm -hmm. And my work uh, is basically collage. And so I was on the internet and came across 
collage, collagraph. I mean, it's just the opposite of gluing pieces on and then printing with it. Mm -hmm. And so then I started doing the, uh, the collagraph as the background and then relief printing and then well, I collage on top. It is gorgeous, Beth. Thank you. And if, again, if you would all like to see Beth's work, it will be here in the City Opera House in the lobby until the end of January. So make sure you hurry up. Thank you Thank so you. much, Beth. Thank you for having all me. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you.